In December 1944, with the Allies rolling to victory, they had already liberated many European cities. Back home, Americans were making post-war plans. And the Germans staged a surprise attack barreling through the forest of the Ardennes. Then 22-year-old Walter Barzenek, a sergeant in the 3rd Armored Division, was among the soldiers who rallied to push back the Germans. The meaning of what you've done, you know, well, is so strong. Yeah. I, remember, I remember a lot of that too. Yeah. 71 years later, France's Council General, Grégoire Trumel, before a small group of family and friends, bestowed upon Barzenek France's highest decoration, the Legion of Honor. The French people will never forget what American soldiers have done to help restore our freedom. The French government has declared that surviving American veterans who participated in the liberation of France are eligible for the award. Nous vous faisons chevalier dans l'ordre national de la Légion d'honneur. The Legion of Honor goes back to 1802, created by none other than Napoleon Bonaparte. Sorry, but I'm speechless. <laughs> this is his original uh, blanket that he had in the war. So that was in the Battle of the Bulge. Learning of the award, Barzenik's son Jay set out on a mission almost a year ago, navigating through the application process, producing documents to back up his dad's eligibility. There's not many World War II veterans left in this world, and, and it hit me. It's like, you know, I need to do that. The Council General conducts one of these ceremonies every few weeks. This one takes on special meaning following the terror attacks on Paris. Trumel was overwhelmed by the outpouring of support for the people of France. This is very important to feel that we're not alone, that we're all together, you know, to defend with all the countries that share the same values. A reminder of the bond between the two countries, as was the small ceremony for a reluctant hero. So thank you very much, Mr. Bartonik, once again. And it makes a special sense for us to be here all together today and to bend together. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.